These little micro bralettes are some of my favorite bras. This is the outfit. I'm wearing the everyday seamless legging and then this is the micro bralette. I just left all the straps on in the back because I'm just hitting like a quick full body and some cardio. I don't have a crazy amount of time today because the core power class got canceled, which sucks because I literally was up at five and I couldn't actually really go back to sleep. So I've kind of just been up for like the last literally two hours. I just put my hair in, in this like bun. I used a hair mask to slick it back. My pump cover is from Abercrombie. But yeah, I've been really liking the Everyday Seamless. I want to get every single color. I just think they're like the perfect legging. Like the black pair, I've already worn so much to class. But they also came out with like, I wore the green one of this literally the other day. This camo. And then the back is like basically backless with a few straps. So flattering. The shorts actually weren't as short as I thought they were. So I did wear them. I wore them with some sweatpants. But y'all, Adapt, Everyday Seamless, any of the micro bralettes, their uh, Fayed line of their sweatshirts and their sweatpants yeah i think those would be my top three for i wear leggings a lot so that's why every day and adapt works best because i also think they they're the most stretchy and like the most flattering on me um so yeah but if you want to support me and anna use code Learman at checkout to get you 10 percent off your order and y'all if you're also a student they also have a 20% off student discount. Please utilize these. I know I have all, I always try to check if brands have a student discount. So immediately, I already knew that Gymshark did because I've been using it, but just so y'all are aware, code Learman, and I think you can stack your student discount on top of it if I'm, if I'm correct. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you can. So yeah, easy little 30% off, but yeah. The fit is looking good. Favorite color is blue, so yeah. And that's the vibe. Like, it's very much the weather's getting cooler. The vibe is getting slower. But yeah, I think this is my outfit. I'm just going to, like, spray some perfume. We'll use Seven Virtues. Just a quick little spritz. I already put on deodorant. Socks are on. Let's get the shoes. And let's get away. He wants the scoop. She wants the tea. She wants the tea. I cannot speak. We keep it in street. We keep it in street. I took a loss, but you still don't get beat. You still don't get beat. How much it costs? It never been cheap. It never been cheap. Turn your click up, dog. Turn them up. Turn your bitch up, dog. Turn them up. Turn these streets can't cross it. Cross them up. All these streets need bosses. Boss them up. Turn your click up, dog. Turn them up. Turn your bitch up, dog. Turn them up.
other bitches. I'm pretty than a motherfucker. Hoss be looking okay. Yeah. She thinks yeah. she fucking with me. Okay. Is this bitch okay? <laughs> he say he ain't fucking around. I look at him like, okay. I used to be down bad, but now a bitch okay. I'm pretty than a motherfucker. Hoss be looking okay. She thinks yeah. she fucking with me. Is this bitch okay? He say he ain't fucking around. I look at him like, okay. I used to be down bad, but now a bitch okay. Down south, bad bitch, discreet shit, so wretched. Call me JT, aka the soul snatcher. you guys welcome to a productive college day in the life with Lexi and I we are currently in our second week of classes and so far so good but studying is in session class is in session and we're just gonna take y'all along for a realistic productive day in the life our schedule like we've mentioned in the past video is heavier set on tuesday and wednesdays we, one of the days we get done with class at five one of the other days we get done at 8 p.m so for convenience we are filming on a day that we only have one class which is our nutrition and counseling class and we actually have that with a friend which is super nice but But yeah, honestly, we're just going to be bringing you guys along our day. Um, to give y'all a little, I guess, agenda for the day. Um, we were supposed to get up and go to a core power class this morning, actually. I woke up at 4.30 and everything, and then I checked my emails and saw that I have a text from the studio because I guess they like had some flooding, which is crazy. I didn't even know that it rained, maybe a pipe burst or something. But yeah, I got a text at about 11 p.m. last night and obviously I was asleep talking about how class was now canceled. So I woke up for nothing. But the day still goes on and honestly, my body is feeling pretty sore from how hard I've been working out recently because I've really been trying to work out with intention and also prioritize walking and like getting steps in throughout the day. And my body is sore. So maybe the class being canceled is a good thing, is a good sign. I'm gonna take today as a rest day. If I have time at the end of my day, to work out, I will go for a walk. If not, today's just gonna be a rest day. 
so with that being said i'm gonna go make some breakfast take my vitamins and study lexi's working out today and she's gonna be sharing her gym outfit her workout all of that before class because we don't have class till 10 45 which is super nice for some reason we thought we had a lot more 8 a.m's this semester and we actually don't personally i would probably prefer an 8 a.m over having a little bit of a later class um but nonetheless it gives us time to kind of work out and get our morning out of the way or get a little bit of extra sleep if we need sleep because with an 8 a.m obviously that's not an option so yeah let's go take our vitamins so i have all of the current vitamins that i'm going to be taking today right here um you guys have seen all of like these vitamins i recently talked about them one vitamin if i like am in a hurry or a rush or whatever one vitamin that i will always 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 take is this ritual essential for women vitamin this has so much good nutrients and properties in it i just really like the way it makes me feel and i think that getting your nutrients in whether that's through vegetables vitamins whatever it may be is the best and just taking them in their whole form i think is also the best like i think that people get a little bit carried away with supplements and stuff like that and why not just get down to the culprit but i also think it's a matter of knowing what you actually need because a lot of people will not realize that there's you know iron in a multivitamin but they're also taking iron and they're just getting excess amounts and stuff like that so just when it comes to vitamins don't just take what i'm taking take what a health professional recommends you need because there's just a lot of misconception with it so i just want to leave that little note because yes i would love like yes i would advise people to get in nutrients that they lack but again only get in nutrients that they lack on a better note another thing that i have actually been loving is coconut cult I have tried this before. I've never shared this on camera, I don't believe, but pretty much it's just a prebiotic yogurt and you take one to two spoonfuls per day for your gut health. Yeah, so pretty much it's fermented with billions of super live probiotics to keep you healthy and regular. And I just think that this is just like a fun sort of prebiotic, not necessarily a pill. In the past, I've taken the Ritual Symbiotic, which is a pre and probiotic. So obviously I'm not taking that with this as well, but I ran out of that. And then, like I said, this is just a little bit more of a funner option. They have a whole bunch of different flavors. This one is strawberry. So I'm just gonna take my spoonful. Mm. And it always says like two teaspoon, two teaspoons. So I do about like that much for both. it's not recommended that you go over that amount because obviously it's not just yogurt but it is really good and the taste is going to want to make you do that now let's make some breakfast
Alright guys, I finished with breakfast, but I figured I would share with you guys my like easy college makeup routine. So I'm just gonna start with a plumping spray. For class, I always like to get like a little bit ready. A, just to feel like better about myself and B, just to be a bit more presentable, honestly. So I don't use like any primer or anything. I will go in with a concealer this nars creamy concealer and the say concealer are my two faves but i'm out of the say they're out of shade 12 for some reason so i'm just gonna go in with this After class, we're going to Trader Joe's too, which I'm so excited for. I feel like I haven't been there in a long time, but I also just feel like Trader Joe's during any sort of holiday season is the best. So I hope they have their fall stuff out. All right, once I have that on, I'm just gonna go and set with a little bit of powder. I like this Fenty Beauty like pressed foundation powder. Um, it's probably my favorite, but if I'm going to use like a light setting powder, I like to go in with the Tower 28 translucent powder. But I'll just take this on like a say brush and go in. I need a little bit of a chapstick right now, but this is usually what I kind of do. Very light, very natural, but still like a little bit more put together. But yeah, now I'm just going to study, honestly. We have a test coming up in our nutrition metabolism class in a couple of weeks. And that is going to be our hardest class by far, for sure. So I'm going to take these next couple hours before we have to leave to review my notes do my Quizlet, look at the study guides, da, da 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 because it's a paper exam, 55 questions, thank God it's multiple choice, but nonetheless, I still feel like it's going to be hard, so let's get into it.
or bulldog or what was it? Pipple. Pipple. About to head out. Saying bye to Book. What did you just call her? It's short for Bookie. She's been sneezing a lot lately, so we have a. Uh, let's I'll see. Sneeze. She did not like Give that. Give mama a hug. But Give we're taking we're taking her to the doctor next yeah. week. And then I was gonna give you guys a little fit check. It's literally 80 degrees out, so this is. What I'm wearing, I'm wearing shorts because it's like colder in the classroom. And then Lexi's kind of, we're kind of matching today actually. This is my fit. But yeah, off to class. Um, I have a song for you guys. <laughs> Taste test. It's a really okay. good color. Ooh, this is sweet. That's really sweet, right? No, it's good. It's <laughs> Have you seen the TikTok? Yeah. Anyways, let's go to class. Gonna note here why we're on the way to class. Um, the presidential debate was yesterday, and if you didn't watch it, I would invite I would advise you to watch it. I feel like everybody has a right to be educated, and a lot of people, especially like in our age, like if you're college students or like in high school, and you're gonna be able to vote soon, or this is like your first time voting in an election, I think it's really good to like know why you're voting for somebody and just kind of like. I don't know it's crazy because like you have the right you have a say so why not like use your voice because I feel like people like especially people our age think like oh it's just one vote like, or it, it doesn't, doesn't affect me or but, whatever or, or, but, but it, like, it, it does, does and, and it, it affects it affects everybody around you and so, your like, kids like you know like I feel like I don't know like too too much when it comes to politics but like even just tuning in like there's a lot that I was like wow or whoa or oh my gosh and so you know it's also very like it, it is also entertainment like they were clapping at each other they were you he know came. yeah so like it was also funny i feel like at sums you're just like oh my gosh like you know what i mean so yeah it's just like honestly said you have a right to be educated and you know just do your due diligence as a active member in society i think it is very important and i think that if you're choosing not to vote because you don't feel like you know enough, then go on the internet. Like, I think it's just... There's so many ways you can learn. Yeah, yeah. there's so many resources. Like, I've learned so much through TikTok and social media and online and stuff like that. So, yeah, I just want to say, like, y'all do your research and do what you need to do to be an active member in society. Okay, but anyways, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. I think it's very important in... I feel like y'all can y'all know where we stand like I ain't got to talk too much about it but yeah I just wanted to put that out there Lex and I don't normally talk now about right onto 6th Street um politics on the internet obviously morals are different but politics and religion we tend to stay away from oh. anyways we're heading to class
It was easy last time you were in class because you were in different groups. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So which one of you is which? <laughs> I'm Lexi. You're Lexi. I'm Anna. Okay. Do you wear glasses more often? Yeah. Okay. I would say our hair is usually different. Yeah. Too. Yeah. It was like somebody had braids the other day. Yeah, I did. I that took them out now, but. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do my best. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> because I think tonight I'm gonna make this recipe. Let me show you guys. One pot chicken tortellini. It's like, yeah. It's not a soup, but like basically a soup. Kinda reminds me of the lasagna pasta. Oh my God. The lasagna soup. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna make this, so I'm just gonna pick up some of the ingredients. This sounds bus. Mm -hmm. Then we can eat this tomorrow for lunch. You make dinner? No, lunch. We have like 30 minutes in between our classes. Yeah, for dinner. I thought it was. No, because we have a class. A lab is like from 1.15 oh. to whatever. Yeah. Yeah, girl. Okay, let's go. We need some more fruits, right? Yeah. Like apples? Yeah. That's honey bear. Do they have like apple crisp? Two of these? They make yeah, small. Probably. Okay, let's get some cheese sticks. Should we get some? What else do you want to get? Did you want any of this fruit for your Yeah, so what, what kind of fruit do you want to use? Like Maybe like a blend like this for acai, yeah. mango. They have acai packs too. No, you gotta like homemade make it. I feel like we should do this. You know what, I wanna try the butternut squash mac and cheese. Look at this, autumn harvest soup. Creamy tomato basil soup with pumpkin and butter on a squash. Um, okay, chicken broth. Do you see the tomato? Sweet tomato yeah. sauce. Anything else? Yeah. Oh, um, let me check. Should I get some? How many should I get? Four? No, what? You don't even know if it's good. What if it is good? I would get two. But what if I want two and it's good? Three? Okay. Three is a lot. You don't even know if it's good. People rave about this, Lexi. Like, rave. Girl, you better make that sure. That looks good, too. Those two look good. <gasps> Should we get more kimbap? Yes. And these. 
these were nice. I never tried them. Yeah, because I ate them all. We'll get two. We're gonna have to make so room. Good. How many of these should we get? Well, it's like one per serving. Two more? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I'm not even kidding you. Anna spilled yogurt on my Ugg. She dropped one of the yogurts and spilled all over okay, my Ugg. Okay, but like for it to like break and explode like that was so dramatic. Yeah, but I'm like, I just got this. Not of you, of the, of the yogurt. Oh, oh. Yeah, because it literally just got all over my sock, all over my leggings. I'm like... Better mostly that though than your Uggs. Like I just got Wait. these Uggs. It spilled all over my Ugg. I literally had to go to the bathroom and like wipe it off. I was just like... A girl literally complimented me on these Uggs. Like, I need to toss my other Uggs out because they are actually, I've had them for three or four years now and they're just like past their time. So yeah, mine started to smell and I was like. What? Yeah, like feet. Cause I oh, would wear what? mine without socks. I would wear mine without socks. So like, okay. But right now we are going to Target because Anna needs to charge her car. And we also have our uh, weekly team meeting. So I'm going to go to the bathroom quick. Anna's going to plug in her car. And then we're just going to have the meeting while we're in the car. Which is what we do actually a lot of the time. Because I feel like we never end up being home for these meetings. Um, so yeah. And then after the meeting, I think we're going to come back home. And I have a campaign to film with CoverGirl. Um, if you guys haven't been keeping up on TikTok and Instagram, I've been working with them the past few months. It's been so fun, so great, and my last video was very much creative, so that was really fun. And then Ann and I need to get ready to take pictures for Gymshark because we've also been working with them, and we just like to take these cutie Gymshark pictures to give inspo and just like, you know, it's fall. We're going to have like a chai or a coffee or something, and it's going to be all the vibes, so yeah that is the plan after the gymshark pictures i think we're gonna come back i'm gonna make dinner and i'm gonna go run and get devin's groceries with him and then we're gonna get the wine okay and then i'm gonna make dinner while they're doing that and i also need to study and finish my study guide for my metabolism class and do some studying and yeah so it seems like a lot, but in reality, this is probably one of the chillest the days. Your days, yeah. Literally one of the chillest days we've probably had all week. So definitely looking forward to it. Definitely looking forward to dinner, and I'm excited. I always love taking Instagram pictures. Like I don't know, I get so giddy when I post. I'm like, oh my god, I can't look at my phone for the next hour because I want to see what everybody's saying, or I don't want to see it quite yet. But yeah, that's the plan. So these cars go. We'll see you at Target. Bats and cats, sour, sour gummies. I want a green one. You think that would be the best? I'm trying to get whatever this mm. is. This purple one? This bat? Delicious. <laughs> Give me 14 of them right now. Oh, they're actually all different flavors. Mm hmm Purple is the best. You know what I actually don't like? Kind of, sort of, not really. Is 
ASMR is aesthetic when it's like actual noises that clink and clank. Like if I'm like, I don't even know, like I'm opening the bag and it's like, you know what I mean? Like that's fine. But like, and I used to do this shit too. So like whatever, but like, I don't like that on every single skincare product. I don't like if you got to slam something on the desk for it to make a noise, like It made a noise but if you have to like to like make noises like i hate that shit it irritates me because it's like i know that it's forced like even from a content creator's perspective and honestly from a viewer perspective like you putting something down will make a certain noise so i can tell if you're putting it down a certain way to make it make a noise and that's when the asr asmr of a video is ruined i won't watch it i'll scroll and I know certain creators, I can literally list off the top of my head where it's just like, I don't like that. Ah! I can't! Exactly. I can't do it! Exactly. That's not ASMR. That's annoying. Crunchy noises when it comes to food is ASMR, but this is like... <laughs> stuck in your teeth, ASMR. So we're gonna have our weekly meeting in the car. Wait for the car to finish up charging, and then we'll meet y'all when we're back at the apartment. I don't know how you're supposed to fit that many machines. Uh, it doesn't go in the freezer or in the fridge. I know. It doesn't like you. Well, I need to. I need to. Let me see you as days. Oh, you've been days with a feel like months. But God for you, you know like months. the gym chart pictures i changed it to some sweatpants and we're gonna make this pasta is it a pasta chicken tortellini something something one pot recipe so yeah so why did this break <laughs> why did this just break Perfect, okay. So I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil in the pan. And yeah, we're gonna get started. I'm so excited. We're gonna season both sides of our chicken. Salt, pepper, lots of it, garlic. Again, lots of it. We're gonna do paprika I love the taste of paprika uh, we're going to throw in some Italian seasoning we're going to do some parsley flakes barely any okay. <laughs> I'm going to throw in a little bit of cayenne pepper just a little bit and uh, thyme leaves as well. Okay, so what we're doing right now is searing the chicken on both sides, seasoning on both sides, and then I'm going to take the chicken off, and then I'm going to start with the tomato and the onion and the garlic and getting that in the pot because we're actually going to cook the rest of the chicken in the tomato sauce. Just a nice 
sear. I don't know if y'all can see that, but very nice. I'm gonna wrap this plate with some foil just so it stays hot. Add in some more olive oil. They did not have any onion besides this diced yellow onion, so that's what I'm gonna have to use. You can also use shallots or red onion. I'd probably use red onion, but this'll do. And then we're also gonna just add a ton of garlic. Okay, so I picked up this tomato and basil and then this roasted garlic tomato sauce. I think I'm gonna use like half and half, maybe a little bit more, at least one full can and maybe another half can. And then I'm putting in two cups of chicken broth now and I'm gonna set the chicken in and let it come to a boil again. Mm, oh my God. How the, oh, good Lord. We're just gonna add in a little bit of this one. Perfect. Half the chicken broth. Okay, now we're gonna add the chicken back in and bring it to a boil. Okay, so the next step is to take the chicken out and you're gonna shred it. I'm just gonna shred it with some forks because that's what's easiest. And then you're going to put the chicken back in, add two more cups of the chicken broth, so the rest of the container. Add in some Parmesan cheese, tortellini, and you're gonna let that boil and cook. So it is al dente. And then I actually did not grab spinach and you are supposed to put spinach in this. I'm kind of mad. I think I was thinking this bag of parsley was the spinach. Yeah, no, that was not what it was. So there won't be spinach in this, unfortunately. Um, but there is. And yeah, then we'll, we'll top her all off. So I'm gonna let, bring that to a low and we're gonna shred this chicken.
Okay, so I know it's a bit dim in here, but I like to study and I like to feel like I'm literally like in a bubble. Yeah, I have a really big exam coming up, so I've kind of just been trying to prepare for that. So I have a quizlet and I made, I finished my study guide this past weekend. So I am going to be going over that. I also did the sample exam last night. So yeah, let's, let's get into this. <laughs> 